Finally, as our friends in the KGB can confirm, nothing has been reported overseas and nothing in Kiev. Moving on to the reactor, Deputy Minister of Energy Shasharin ordered an inspection. It's completely destroyed. Ordered an inspection and can confirm that it is in fact damaged. But we suggest that it be left to burn off. Did anyone hear what Gennady just said? Look, it's been destroyed. Comrade Lagasov, you will have your chance to speak later. I'm, I'm sorry, Boris, but it seems there's almost no one in this room who, who understands what this means. It's on fire. <laughs> the graphite moderator, which in itself is just unbelievably radioactive, and what's left of the fuel core are on fire. Now, that, that's, that's about two and a half thousand tons of carbon, which burning at one ton an hour will burn roughly for three months. And every day that it burns, it will send into the atmosphere more radiation than has ever been released in, in all the nuclear accidents that have ever happened anywhere in the world, all put together. Every day, for three months. You have my word that people that asleep in their beds in this town tonight have, have effectively died today. As I speak, radiation is entering the bodies of everybody in this room. Everybody outside for hundreds of miles. We can no longer pretend. And, yeah, it's criminal. And, and, and it's got to stop. And you have got to stop it. I don't know how we can remedy the situation, but it's simply unacceptable to suggest we let it burn out. Burn off. Then we must quickly and quietly find a remedy and put it out. Radiation doesn't penetrate lead. Why don't we drop lead from helicopters? No, 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 not, not, not lead. You've got to be careful with this thing. Here's the reactor, yeah? And it's um, separated from these chambers below by a floor made of concrete and steel. Now, these chambers are now flooded with just hundreds and thousands of gallons of water. Lead blocks drop from that height are simply punch a hole in this floor, the fuel and the gases that reach the water and you get a simply massive, I mean massive, thermal explosion. What extinguishes this sort of thing? The only possible one is sand. Might have an effect. Maybe add some boron to absorb the neutrons. Um, sand? Wood smothering? Might. Uh, there's a risk to this, because, I mean, although the sand might smother the radiation, it, it could also act like a furnace, and you're just going to heat up the fire. So what? The radiation will be stopped. Yeah, but it'll just burn through the floor towards the water. And then we'd be back with a thermal explosion again. What is your advice, gentlemen? Sand. We're going to have to watch the temperature like a hawk. Helicopters. Hundreds of them. Notify the Air Force. Boris, what about the local population? What about Pripyat? First thing in the morning, evacuate. Pripyat's people were forced to 
大人も子供も髪の毛や服や体に放射能の塵をつけたままバスへと乗り込んだのです。避難は3日間だけだと伝えられていましたパニックと荷物の氾濫を防ぐためです運よく砂で消火できたとしてもこの人たちが家に戻れる見込みはありませんでしたThese reactors have been around for years, sir. Years. If there's a problem... It exploded when you hit the AZ button. Why didn't it stop the reaction? You say there couldn't be a design for, but how else do you explain it? They know. And if they knew, they'd tell us. The protocol would say... You think we'll get the blame for this? You or me? Yeah, I do. The whole world, everything, everything, suddenly changed. The whole world. 町はまるで廃墟のようになり置き去りにされた犬たちは凶暴な野犬と化しました私の作戦は事態を反対に破滅へ導くかもしれませんこの惨事を招いた責任の所在さえも私にはわからなくなっていました You knew that the instruments only went up to 3.6. Valeri. You knew there was absolutely no way they could give you a true sense of the levels. Valeri. I was to be decorated this year, honored. With my picture on the wall, I couldn't just throw that away. And I wanted to believe it could all be salvaged. Truly. You should never be forgiven, Victor. But you might not be the only reason we're here. What I suspect is true, there isn't an innocent man in the building.
I think this is going to catch up with us all. temperature is not falling. I can promise you that's far more concerned of the Soviet people than anything the Swedes can throw up. <sighs> you remember the, um, <clears throat> the furnace effect on the floor beneath the reactor? Well, as far as we can work out, the fire has already burned halfway through this floor towards the water. When the temperature reaches 2,900 degrees, the uranium dioxide will melt and either burn or run its way through to hit the water. The thermal explosion. That would be enormous. Far greater than anything we've seen. It will level 200 square kilometers. also totally vaporise the fuel in the other three reactors. Most of Kiev would perish. And the Dnieper and Prepyat rivers, which supply, what, 30 million people with water? They're massively irradiated. Northern Ukraine and most of Belarus would be uninhabitable for anything up to a century. This must not go beyond this room. Tell Vyadov to keep monitoring it, and to Nigasov. I want a plan. スティックスポッシブル。私は熱心な共産党員です。その私ですら長らく目にしなかったソビエト国民の姿がチェルノブイリにはありました。誰もが文句一つ言わずキビキビと働いていたのです。11万6000人を避難させる決断も簡潔な話し合いだけで即決されました。長年この国を支配していた独善的な官僚政治は影を潜め、情熱と悲痛なまでの決意が現場を支配していたのです。我々政府委員会は極めて危険な作業の時に命何個分という数え方でその作業を遂行するかしないか検討するようになっていました。ミスを犯してはならない。命を無駄にさせてはならないという責任が重くのしかかってきます。